Gentlemen, I mm-hmm. have a bit of an animal mystery for you two today. Um, it? It's a very sick deer that uh, was found roaming around in the, uh, well, I want to say streets, but in some environments. And they were, they were like, well, what the hell's wrong with this deer? It's sick, but it wasn't sick in any type of way that uh, you would think. It would that be sounds sick. like that sounds like scientists that I've met. They go, "What the hell is wrong with this deer?" Right? Yeah. Very, that's, that's very scientific. Yeah. This deer had an ailment that's uh, haunted me since birth. I've been terrified that this was going to happen to me. It had <laughs> Taco, uh, Taco Bell, hairy already. eyeballs. A hairy eyeball deer, which is apparently a super rare disease. Will, if you want to bring a picture up of this oh! it's frightening i was just put about to tell quickly. you that you're like a liar demonetized oh. put, put it what down is quickly. that that's so disgusting so this deer apparently oh. has yeah a hairy cornea it, it has its fur on its eyeball and uh you know people it's only they've only seen this one time before <laughs> I literally man, can't tell deer, you, like, man. that is giving me willies. Oh, God, just get that I mean, off. It looks like a monster. It actually looks it, a bit like a Hershey's fake? kiss. Are you making this up? Is this like a fake thing? There's nothing better than Pat's reaction. He literally almost fell off his chair. <laughs> I feel like it's coming up. Please it's get heinous, it off. dude. <laughs> it is not a good-looking eyeball. Um, but this is real? Said, this is not just like Retap on Photoshop? Real. Whoa. Yeah, so they they assume that it that it this is it's been this way since birth and it survived with these how? eyes for a long time. Well, how can it see? Yeah, I mean, how does it see? Is they that don't like know. when like, they just, kids have that like emo haircut that goes over one eye, but they can still kind of see you through it? <laughs> oh well, they, they yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they said that it uh, that it may have developed over time, so it was able to adapt to it over time, you know, and. Uh, and I mean, this, this poor deer, this was a, uh, it was found in a, a fairly developed suburb of Knoxville. So I, I literally hate this. Like I love all animals and I hate this deer. Like it's so gross. Oh, come on. It, He's already got it bad enough. And now world dude, famous I'm sorry, man. has That's, to hate him too. <laughs> so, yeah. It's called, it's called a corneal dermoid is what that is. And a dermoid is a generic term, uh, which is basically defined as just normal tissue that's in the wrong place, right? Interesting. Um, so this reminds me a lot of when you hear stories of like large tumors that get removed from people and, mm-hmm. the, and the tumors have, have like grown a lot of hair and teeth in them and fingernail and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is fruit brute, boys. I, <laughs> I knew a guy <laughs> in high school had a big mole on his like leg that, had, that looked like this fucking thing's eye. That's uh, that's me. frightening. At least Could it was on it? his leg, though. So wait, let me ask you this, Peter. Were they able to help this deer out, or did they euthanize it, or what's going they on? They wax with our, it. Our, they give him a wax, pal. eyeball wax. Just give him some no, laser. They, they they just gave him some treats and let him on his way. No, uh, I think you're wrong. He must be dead. <laughs> There's no other way they have these pictures. Yes. Yeah, so no, it's I, a I, one and a half year old deer that somehow fucking survived, man. Holy yeah. shit. That's wild. Yeah, I'm pulling up the story right now. It's so disgusting. Well, it's, I really have a hard time looking at it. It says that because of where it was at, that there's less hunting and fewer coyotes, um, that, that it might have been able to survive longer because of that. But they were confused because there's a lot of traffic, and they couldn't understand how it hadn't been hit by a car. So they're saying, that's just wild. They're saying yeah. that its eyesight is basically like the equivalent of like put a washcloth over your face. So you could tell the difference between day and night, but you're not going to see an approaching predator or anything like that. But it does insanely. It doesn't say if they helped it out. Well, I, I think don't, I don't think they right helped here. it out. I'm pretty it looks, sure it they looks like it was it hunted. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks like it was oh, being yeah. hunted and then it, it was because it yeah, looks like right. it's on the back of some kind of a car seat right there. It's also it's the kind of thing that that is if that is a genetic mutation and not just a one off, it should not be spread. Right. It should not be passed on. If you if you see that as a That's as true. a fish and wildlife biologist, you want to remove that. That's uh, like a good point. Yeah. Like Peter said, there were no natural predators in the area. It was in a suburb or whatever. That thing would have been 
hammered and taken out naturally in in the wild world you know the fact that we've altered the environment and it's happy to eat someone's lawn for and you know until it <laughs> gets hit by a car or whatever yeah, yeah. Right. Ugh, no right. let's get this off let's be done with this this is the worst daily ever i don't care for this i don't care for any part of this yuck well well for us wanna... i wish yeah. upon you corneal dermoids please don't say that out loud take it back I'm just kidding i would never do that tell a friend about this disgusting video Every day, every day, something gross.